Oh, oh. I trusted you! I... I was really inspired by the character of Mason on Runaways because I love the idea of an outsider. A couple different times in my life, I felt like the outsider at school. I went to a private girls' academy in high school and I went there on a scholarship. The fish out of water story. And that's essentially what Mason is. I'm shirtless, shooting a scene out in front of our school, and it's going really well. It's the first scene of the day. So everyone's a little tired, but they're waking up. I'm awake though, because I'm shoveling. We are going to walk back on set right now to film um, the scene that we've been doing where uh, Kaylee and Mason kind of have this connection outside of the school. Hey, what are you doing? Wouldn't want anyone to get hurt. Kaylee walks out with her friends. And uh, it's when, when Mason and Kaylee first see each other and, and kind of have that moment, kind of like Jack and Rose on the Titanic. That's what I like to equate it to. It's incredibly hot and sweaty out. It's already really hot. It is incredibly hot. I'm sweating everywhere. Everywhere. And uh, I'm about to be really offended that Mason is trying to stare at my girl. My girl. I walked from behind the camera to a card. Kaylee, I guess, walks a little different than I do. I mean, this scene kind of brings together the backstory behind Kaylee Mason. It's the first time that they've actually ever had a conversation. So they're kind of sitting in the hallway, waiting kind of at the dean's office. Mason is staring at Kaylee, and I advise him against doing that. <laughs> Glenda says some, some mean things about Kaylee to uh, Mason. She's so above your pay grade. I think so. She may seem all sweet and nice, but they're all like. I can hear you. Why do you advise me to Because she's just, you know, I think she's a bitch, and I think he's kind of cool. So, you know, he can do better than that. Kind of that moment where they like, kind of felt some type of connection and they haven't acted on it yet or thought too much about it, but it's like the moment where they first meet. Glenda's wrong, you know. about my career as a cow scrubber. Well, we're almost done shooting this scene, and it's, I really like this scene. So it was, it was good, it was a good scene. After you shoot a scene, you kind of get a new perspective on your character every time, it's cool. Linda and Mason, their relationship is a little more complicated than I thought. In this scene, seeing them kiss at the locker, and it's all our different viewpoints of how we're seeing it. So I'm gonna be coming out from there, and then looking over there, and reacting to that. Pearson's gonna be doing his thing and reacting to them. And I stare at Mason and Kaylee, and I'm really jealous of everything that's going on between them. Because all reacting to them in different ways. Right now, Linda just saw something she wasn't supposed to. She saw Olivia and Dean possibly, possibly doing something. It was just a suspicion, you know, she doesn't know anything for sure. So here we have, vote for Jared Slater, or just vote for Slater. Vote for Jared. Handing out these flyers because you want a class president that you can work with, work with Slater. Vote for Slater. Right now what we're about to do is I'm having my epiphany scene with my laptop. I see something that makes me say the F word in my mind. Trevor definitely has some secrets up his sleeve. He seems nice, he seems innocent, but this season you're gonna get a taste of his darker side. I don't personally know who the killer is yet. I have no idea who did it. I don't know who did it. Yeah, Beth won't tell us anything. I could be the killer. Glenda could be the killer. And I know that that was a decision to not let them know who the killer, killer is. You know, three, four minutes at a time, everything counts. I personally love the kind of mysteries where you can go back and watch it all and say, oh, there was a clue, there was a clue, there was a clue. It's been a real pleasure working with so many young, great actors. Look, they look at me. completely knocked it out of the park and gave it everything they had. It is so exciting to be doing something that is kind of at the, at the forefront of what's happening with technology, with storytelling. I want people to enjoy this. I want to make this a fun ride. It's going to be good. Watch it. I just picture wrapped on season two. So that means that I won't be back until season three. You're watching Awesomeness TV. Check out Runaways. Make sure to subscribe. We won't let you down. Thank <laughs> you.